What's up, everybody? Over the past couple months now, I've been carrying this uh, Kershaw Cryo. This is a Kershaw Cryo 2. A lot of you are, are familiar with this. Uh, it's a pretty popular knife, been around for a while. The Cryo 1s were small. A lot of people complained about the size, so they came out with these Cryo 2s. This is a uh, Hinder design. It kind of seems like Hinder is kind of flooding the market now, like uh, kind of booted Ken Onion's ass out of the picture. Uh, kind of funny, but uh, yeah, Hinder's been doing a lot of great designs. I really like his stuff. And uh, this is one of them right here I like. But like I said, this is a short-term short -term review on this knife here. Uh, I've only carried it for a couple months now. So these are just my opinions on it. Uh, you know, of course, your opinions may, may vary or be different. But uh, these are just my opinions. I'm going to go over some pros and cons. Okay, this is a, uh, a spear point model or drop point. This has got a cool uh, black black wash finish to it. I opted for that that uh, version of it just because I liked it. So uh, let me go ahead and go over some pros and cons with this here. I'll start out with the pros. Uh, I love the blade shape, and this is a personal personal thing I like. I like slim heavy knives. This is a very slim, uh, solid construction knife. So this rides in the pocket very comfortably. But uh, it's it's stout enough that you can really not be afraid to use it, which I like. Okay, the steel, uh, 8 CR 13 MOV steel. Uh, you know, it's it's a decent steel. But I have to say, after using this here, uh, the steel on this, the heat treating that Kershaw did is, is very good. Uh, it's about a once a week or twice a week touch up on the steel. So pretty good. And that's, you know, I can take this out and carve sticks and stuff and bring it in the house. I use my pocket knives pretty much for everything. I use them for food prep. I use them for boxes and stuff. And I just, you know, I keep them clean. But uh, another pro I like on this here is the finish. I like this black wash finish. Uh, it really wears nice. It's got that uh, kind of distressed color to it, you know, to where it's going to really show age and wear really, really well and kind of blend in with the knife. So I like the finish. It went over the slimness. I like the flow through construction on this. You can see it's a frame lock. And after a couple months of use, the lock is right where you want it. It's a little past quarter over on the blade. So a lot of room to break this in. Okay, uh, I like the overall design. And most of all, just like anybody that purchases anything, I like the price on this. This comes in right, right around $30. That's uh, street price, give or take. So that's pretty much the pros about this here I like. Also the lanyard hole. You can see I got a nice piece of uh, paracord through there. Pocket clip. I like the pocket clip. Uh, this right here kind of helps me pull the knife out of my pocket. I don't like uh, deep carry pocket clips myself. I like to have a little meat to grab onto. Uh, but the pocket clip's very small but very well designed. So I like that. Okay, let's go over the cons, and, and a lot of these cons are just personal uh, opinions. Okay, uh, my first con, when I received this knife, the blade was very far off center. Let's go ahead and close this and show you. It's still not centered good, or the best. But this blade was so far off center that the knife rubbed. I probably should have sent it back. I tried tweaking the pivot here. And I had this, this pivot all the way tightened and all the way loosened, and it didn't matter. Uh, I had to actually take this knife apart and clean up the, uh, the, the washers in here. The washers were burned up. So that's a, that's a con, in my opinion, right there. And of course, you know, that can happen with any manufacturer. You know, you're, you're producing these, mass producing them. So, you know, I could have sent it back, but I figured I would take it apart and see if it was a simple fix. Uh, but I will say now that this this uh, this is all the way pretty tight, and there's really no room to adjust this, so that's kind of hit hitting there for a con. Uh, okay, a couple other cons, and these are personal preference. After using this, you went with the uh, the Cryo two. They went with the bigger blade design. I believe this is this is a three and a quarter inch blade now. Yeah, three and a quarter. So we already have a heavy knife, and my con on this also is also the, the blade size. 
I wish that they would have went about a half inch or so bigger on the blade and even the handle if they would have went another half inch on the handle. I got large hands, not, not extra large or not small. And you can see I just squeezed my hand on this handle here. So we were correcting a problem of the knife being too small. I think they should have just went a little, little bit bigger. Uh, so there's that. And it, it makes a world of difference having that extra half inch of blade. I mean, there's a fine point where you don't want too too long or too short. But like if you're using this to cut an apple or, or something like that, the blade just, you have a problem clearing some of the cuts that you want to do. Um, okay, another con I have with this is the handle. The handle is, uh, I like the handle. I like the overall design of the handle. Very handle heavy. Uh, I wish they would have went just a little slimmer with the handle, like kind of shrunk this down a little bit. Uh, when you reverse cut, like I, like I said, I use my pocket knife for food prep and stuff. When you reverse cut with this, like this, like skinning a potato or apple, the handle's kind of wide, and it, it, it's a little bit uncomfortable, not too bad. I think they could have slimmed this handle down a little bit, and uh, I think it would have made the knife that much better. And, you know, obviously it would have been a little less material, too. Okay, uh, another con that I have also is the jimping on here. Uh, a lot of knife makers are doing this here. They're putting jimping back here. In my opinion, this, this serves no purpose at all. I mean, it just makes it maybe look better. Uh, but that adds no aid in, in grip or comfort on the knife, having jimping right here. You can see my fingers just come into contact there. Uh, and if you actually use this in a heavy manner, that actually aids in, in uh, discomfort. So, not that, not that, uh, just a preference of mine. I prefer not just to have a plain, smooth handle here. And then the jimping overall really doesn't. You can see it's very uh, wide jimping. Doesn't really offer much grab to it at all. Uh, so. I would rather just do away from that jimping altogether and not have it there. Okay, and lastly, the other thing I would like to see, uh, you know, like I said, I have large hands when I grab this here. When I do detailed cutting, you can see they got this spot right here. My finger actually wants to ride higher than what they have here. And I don't, let's see if we can get this in here. You can see how they, how they did a uh, false cut here in the back of the spine. I would much prefer if this was flat right here to aid in, in a comfort spot for your thumb to be. Uh, so there you go. That's pretty much everything that I that I uh, have to nit nitpick about this knife. But overall, this is a thirty dollar knife design. I mean, usually Rick Hinder's designs they sell for you know two hundred plus dollars. So you're getting a uh, a nice Hinder design here. Uh, the finish is awesome. The steel. Uh, holds an edge. The edge retention is very good on it. So overall for 30 bucks, I can't really complain too much and uh, This is definitely staying, you know, this this would be uh, One I keep for my collection and, and carry and rotate often But uh, there you go guys if you guys own one of these let me know what you think and uh, Kershaw cryo 2 You guys have a great one Michigan edge out